Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Bright Ace Attorney, Rise from the Ashes. Um, since last time, stuff is going down. The murder took place at the prosecutor's office, the only suspect is Lana Sky. There are no errors in the testimony of the witness, Angel Star. If you have a response, make it one word or less. Oof, why is it with this thing? Why do you have to make it? OBJECTION! No, it's gonna, I don't know. Or take that! I don't know, one of those. Argh. I rest my case. Come on. Oh, this... It seems that the trial has reached a conclusion. There's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time. Disproving the alleged murder at the police station department. What? There's no doubt that I've proved... What I've proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera's tape really was fake. But I didn't realize... That would end up proving Lana guilty. I thought we were just trying to disprove one thing. Ah, uh, uh, I just turned the light on for no reason. Now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Someone save me! Thank you. Whoa! She's at the podium! Your Honor! Wait! Emma? The defense has an objection. A scientific objection. Right? What do you mean, right? <laughs> Mr. Right. Are you this girl's guardian? Your Honor, uh, uh, in a sense. Please, Your Honor, all I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edgeworth, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. <laughs> He's nice. He... Aw. I, I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 is to refer to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it. The names of both Sky's sister were in that file, but that's what I figured out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day, so I knew this fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing, the other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured it. if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. So did you find something? Um, no. Huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. <laughs> um, is that all? <laughs> Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. <laughs> and I'm just an attorney. But Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clues we have. If we can't find something wrong with them. Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can save Lana, it's you. Oh, hell yeah! Me? Oh boy! Time's up! Now then, Mr. Wright, with regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um... It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use, but still... If you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. Yes, Your Honor. If ever I've needed to concentrate, it's now. I have a hard time concentrating in real life. What could be wrong with that handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? Well, the thing is, one has the glove mark, and one doesn't, right? And... If I do remember correctly... It's the right hand. The one on the... Wait a minute. The one on Goodman's locker, it showed up no problem without Luminol. Like, they didn't give an F about that. I don't know why Meekins and the other guy didn't see it at first. But, the one on Marshall's, it was like, kinda wiped away when everybody, isn't it? We had to like, Luminol it to show... I object. Something's weird. Because one has glove and one doesn't. I think that's the weird thing. This handprint left at this crime scene clearly shows a contradiction. Oh, please be right. The only thing that seems clear is your grasping, Mr. White. I'm great at grasping. You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? 
You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? <laughs> yes, something that, when drawn, will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Is it the thing that was in front of Goodman's Locker on um, the Blue Badger? Let, it, let us pray the defense isn't simply trying to buy time. Oh, I think it is a Blue Badger. Because, like, if that was there, then they would just, like, walk around it. And anyways, why would Marshall touch that locker? Because he had to sneak under the camera, so he couldn't, like, he wouldn't pass by that spot at all. He will just try to be under the camera the whole entire time. Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's got to be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing in the floor plans? Lee, that guy. Let me just look at all the evidence because it makes me feel reassured. Damn, we got like five pages, son! Or four, or something like that. A lot! This? <laughs> what about that piece of plywood? What about that piece of plywood? The Blue Badger, mascot of the police force. Defender of truth, guardian of proof. <laughs> nice. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Please look at the floor plans of the crime scene. The Blue Badger is not here. So? So watch what happens when we put him there. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Well? Well? What? Ah! Uh, <gasps> that's right. So long as the blue ba badger is dancing here, it would be impossible to place a handprint at this spot on the locker. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Mind blown! The music makes it better. So that means, uh, just exactly what does this mean? It means it can't be done. What are you saying? Blood traces were undeniably found on the locker. Don't look at me. I didn't put it there. Mr. Wright, think it through scientifically. Emma? On that afternoon... Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? After he put it down, he would it would be impossible to leave a handprint in the locker. So that must mean the blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. Just one moment, I would not be allowed such far-fetched border dash in my courtroom. It may sound far-fetched, your honor, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department's evidence room, blood was spilled not once, but twice. But how? One time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera. Officer Meek is- oh yes, yeah, like super covered, huh? Which was trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is the other time. Why didn't they see the blood though? Like once in a lot of blood, blood on the floor. Someone bled prior to this struggling shown on this tape. It had to have been Detective Goodman when he was really murdered. Whoa, that's ridiculous! I refute you. Whoa, <laughs> the murder portrayed in the security tape has been proven to be fake. However. That does not explain the blood mark found on the blocker. Oh! <laughs> it's like back and forth. So then, assuming this murder, your purport, really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show me evidence that proves it occurred. When did the first incident occur? It's that 777777 guy. To surmise, the defense claims that prior to Officer Meekins being cut by Jake Marshall, who was disguised as Detective Goodman, another incident took place in the evidence room. The blood mark on the locker proves this. Very well. Then tell us, when did this first incident occur? Proof must be presented. Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Now then, will the defense please present its evidence? What shows when the first crime took place? Write the F here. So, oh, this. I don't think it was Edgeworth. I hope they don't think it's Edgeworth, though. If the crime took place inside the evidence room, and the perpetrator would have to have entered the room. In order to do so, an ID card is required. An ID card? Oh. The ID card report. Record. Officer Meekins brought the blue badger panel into the evidence room at, let's see here, 4.50 p.m.? If the, crime t if the crime took place before that time, then he would be 4.40 p.m. Ah. Ah! Miles Edgeworth! Just what have you done? I never figured you had nerve, boy. Put off the act, witness. It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out it couldn't have been me. Hmm? Nope. I ain't getting it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't understand either. 
It's clear from the luminol test that blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Meek and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. Oh, I think the luminol, the only lum I don't know actually which luminol. Maybe I didn't see any blood. <laughs> Maybe I'm just crazy. I can't remember if I, the blood was there before the luminol. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. I would have had just 10 minutes before the, to murder the victim, carry his body away, and clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically impossible. That would mean the crime must have taken place before Mr. Edgeworth entered the Evans room. Let's look at the chart again. Thank you, Edgeworth, because you make too much sense sometimes. Those dum dums. There's only one other card number remaining, and it's a 777777 guy. Talk about a lucky number. But wait, that doesn't make sense. How could Officer Goodman have entered the Evans room? Since there's no record of his card being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murderer. That's the only plausible explanation. He went in with 77777 guy. Ms. Mr. Edgeworth, please look into this ASAP. Find out whose ID number is 77777777. That's one seven too many, Your Honor. Unfortunately, I'm unable to look in the owner of that ID card, at least at present. What? Explain yourself, son. The ID number 77777 belongs to someone with the rank of captain or higher, someone who is so-called executive officer. We don't have the authority to inquire into such a person's identity. But that's ridiculous, just... I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There is one situation in which we can be granted such authority. If an official charge filed against an executive is accepted, an official charge? You're all alike, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries. That's how the prosecutor's office operates. I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate if you would keep your slander to yourself. Slander, is it? Okay. Let me ask a question. Yes? No, not to you. To her, the defendant sitting over there. Your own little executive. Lana? Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course, we've looked up her ID number. And it's not 77 all those sevens. Don't play me for a fool, partner. That's not what I wanted to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. The SO9 incident? Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use illegitimate evidence? Do you need the witness to repeat the question, Chief Prosecutor? I heard him fine, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of the two prosecution for that trial. At the time, we, occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. Lana? I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. Defendant, just what are you saying? I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During that trial, two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look me, an investigator in the crime, in the eye and say that you did? Chief Prosecutor, you didn't. I don't have to, Officer Marshall. Huh? Why don't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana... Even if it involved forging evidence. Oh, shiz. See? That's what I'm talking about. No. No. Oh, you can't just say stuff like that, girl. Order, 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 order! Oh my gosh. Lonestermar caused such a stir, the chaos in the courtroom could not be quelled. The conclusion of the trial would have to wait until the following day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we ended just in time. Whoa, what a way to end. Holy crap. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. That was super crazy. Holy crap. Tune in the next time for more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Rise from the Ashes.
tonight. 